Hey guys, good morning. This is Dan with Ledger Support. How are you all doing? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to withdraw crypto from your Binance account to a Ledger account. Let's do it. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to withdraw some ETH from my Ethereum account on Binance to a new Ethereum account on Ledger Live. Let me show you how to do it. The first thing I want is a new Ethereum account in Ledger Live. So I can create a new account by going to accounts, add account, select Ethereum, continue. Ledger Live is asking me to unlock my Ledger device. I'm going to do this right now with my pin. Okay, I've just unlocked my Ledger device. Ledger Live is checking whether the Ethereum app is installed on my device. I need the Ethereum app installed on my device to add my first Ethereum account. Very important, an app and an account are not the same thing. In order to be able to install the Ethereum app onto my device, I need to allow the manager on the device. Use both buttons to validate. Now, as you can see, Ledger Live is installing the Ethereum app on my device here. Okay, now I need to open the app. You know the app is open when it says application is ready. Now Ledger Live is looking for existing accounts in my device. I already have one existing account, so you should be able to find that one. If it's your first account, then there will be no existing account. It will just ask you to create a new account. Great, so this is my existing account. I'm going to rename this account to Ledger Dan, but you can also leave the default name. It doesn't really matter. And click in account and then done. Great, so next I need to use my new Ethereum account to create a receiving address. Here's my new Ethereum account. Click receive, continue. Here's my deposit Ethereum address. I'll need to make sure that it matches the one that shows on the device. It matches. Now here's a quick tip, copy it then go to Binance and use it in Binance before you verify on the device. I'll show you why. Now I'm in Binance. I'm going to go into wallet, fiat. Here's my Ethereum balance that I want to withdraw. I'm going to click withdraw. So the correct coin is selected. Make sure to copy paste the address from Ledger Live. You can verify the address on your ledger device one last time, okay? So this is where at this point I like to verify the address. I usually verify the first four characters, the, the last four characters and four characters in the middle. But if it's a big sum that you're sending, then I would recommend to verify each single characters. By the way, Ethereum address are not case sensitive, so it doesn't matter if it's a capital D or a lowercase d, it's the same thing as far as Ethereum is concerned, but you need to have the same numbers and letters, if that makes sense. Okay, so the address is correct, so I'm going to go ahead on my device and use both buttons to prove. Okay, now here's a very important step, network. The network tells the exchange on which blockchain the funds are going to be sent. The issue when it comes to Ethereum-like blockchains is that your ledger address on Ethereum is the same as your ledger address on Binance Smart Chain, is the same as your ledger address on Optimism, on Polygon, and so on and so forth. So the exchange knows your address, but it doesn't know which network you want to send the coins to. So it's very important to um, select the correct address and also the correct network. A lot of people get their coins lost because of that. Now, don't worry if it's your case. It's not a catastrophic loss. You can still recover the funds, but it's a lot of extra steps to get your funds back. So it's better if you select the correct network right off the bat. So I'm going to select, see I've got different options here. What I want is to send my Ethereum to the Ethereum network. Might be different for you, mind you, but 
but in my case, I want my Ethereum to be on the Ethereum network. I'm going to select all my balance and click withdraw. Now it's telling me to make sure that the address is correct. Um, I verified this address before, so I know it's correct. But if you want to verify a second time, then you can go ahead, click re-verify. The address shows again on your device. You'll have to approve it one more time. And then you're good. I think the address is correct. The network is correct. Again, this is very important. Make sure both the address and the network are correct. I need to click continue. Here, I'm going to have to provide my authenticator codes and email verification codes. So I'll see you in a second. Click submit and complete. All right. So the coins will not immediately appear in Ledger Live. The reason why is because the exchange, first of all, needs to process the transaction. So actually create the transaction and then push it onto the blockchain. And then the Ethereum blockchain itself needs to validate the transaction. So that might take a few minutes. Depends on the exchange. Binance is usually pretty fast, but some exchanges might be, um, might take longer. If you want to track your withdrawal, then you can do it here. So here you can see that my withdrawal is awaiting approval. So it's waiting for the exchange to actually process the withdrawal. On the side note, you can see here the difference between keeping your funds on an exchange and keeping your funds on a ledger device. Here, the exchange actually needs to approve the transaction, which is not the case when you custody funds on a ledger device, not your keys, not your coins. Here, Binance is in charge of my private keys. If they want to stop me from withdrawing my coins, then they can do it. It looks like Binance authorized my withdrawal and the withdrawal is now processing, it says here. You can see here there is a new field that says transaction ID and I can click on the little chain link here. So you can see my transaction is here and it's been successfully confirmed. So I should be able to see it in Ledger Live. Let's have a look. And here you go. Here's my transaction and it got received. Yeah. Transaction is not confirmed yet. It usually takes about 12 confirmation for a transaction to become final on the Ethereum blockchain, which is the strongest guarantee that the Ethereum blockchain can give you, meaning that the transaction will be part of the Ethereum blockchain forever. Now looking at Etherscan one more time, I have 26 block confirmations now. Binance telling me uh, the withdrawal is complete. Ledger Live is lagging behind a little bit, but at this point I'm pretty confident that the Ethereum is in my wallet. Ledger Live sometimes has a little lag, so if you're unsure whether the transaction has been confirmed or not, Etherscan is the source of truth here. Just a quick tip. If a withdrawal has been completed and has a bunch of confirmations, but still doesn't appear in Ledger Live, it might be because Ledger Live is having issues reading the blockchain. So in this case, you would go to settings, help and clear cache to force Ledger Live to read the blockchain a second time and hopefully display the correct balance. That's one thing you can do. If you're still not able to see your ETH balance or your token balance from Binance into Ledger Live, it's most likely either because Binance has not actually processed the transaction, although the website might say otherwise, or it might be because you selected the wrong network. So instead of selecting the Ethereum network, you selected the Binance Smart Chain network or the Arbitrum network. If that's the case, then don't worry. You can reach out to us at Ledger Support. Please share your Ethereum address so we can do some investigation on chain and try to find where the coins have gone and then we'll help you find the coins and access the balance. You might need to use a third party app to do this like MetaMask, don't worry, it's perfectly safe. Sometimes Ledger Life can do the job as well. It really depends on the coins and where you actually sent the coins. On a final note, if you are not sure whether a coin is supported by Ledger or not, please do not take a chance. Contact us before you do the withdrawal. 
or what you can do is send a small test amount first see if the balance shows in ledger live if it does then send the rest of the coins in any case if you need anything please do reach out to us you can find us at ledger.support there is a contact us button here which you can use to either start a conversation with a live agent or send us an email we'll get back to you as soon as possible i hope the video was useful if you have any questions drop them in the comments if not i'll see you in the next one bye bye